entropy is a quintessential uh, characterization of information contact. You don't need, by the way, much more, one more bit more, even less, actually, to find it so sh So if I ignore, by the way, natural uh, 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 rounding of uh, uh, this must be uh, an integer, then actually I can prove to you that the best can do is equal to the entropy of the third. So the more complex x is, the longer is uh, the longer is description, the bigger is entropy, and the more information is there. Assuming that we somehow equate entropy information, which we can debate. Okay, so there are three results of Shannon, 48, that uh, in shape is the start with actual information theory. The first one I already told you, it's about data compression, short in the structure. It basically tells us that we cannot compress more than the entropy on average, but also for individual sequences, except for very few atypical uh, cases. So you cannot do better than this. But here is the jewel and the problem, in a sense, of Shannon result. So what is say, OK, if I want to say information over a channel, and there is a noise. This time noise is important. Of course, I would like to pump into the channel as much information, as many bits as possible. But because of the noise, if I send too much information, I might receive a lot of errors on the other side. So the question that Shannon asked is, what is the maximum bit rate? How many bits per second I can send in a noisy environment to receive faithfully, almost without error, the message on the receiver side? And he says there is this number, so there is this phase transition. Up to a certain number called capacity, you can send information as much as you want. If you send your information bit rate over the capacity, there is a positive probability of error, and you, you you most likely won't be able to send. There is a limit. However, there is one thing that Shannon just put under the rug, but it's very important. And uh, he said, OK, I can design a code. This code can be very long one to send this information. What does it mean? It means that before I send it in your message, I have to build a code, which means my delay might be very, very long. So time aspect, delay aspect, in this result is completely ignored. And now it was good for communication 50 years ago. Right now, why is computing? And if we want to go to economics, if we want to go to uh, biology and chemistry, we have to somehow deal with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the, the time aspect of information. So actually, we would like to have, OK, what is the maximum number of bits that I can send, provided that the delay is smaller than something? Can we answer this question? Finally, Shannon also generalized his result to the situation like uh, continuous signals that you have to uh, quantize. And it's just, OK, if I'm making that many errors, how much information I have to send? But we will concentrate on trying to understand this a little better and see what can be done. So in 2005, I organized the information beyond Shannon workshop. We have about 20, 30 people, and we debated. So what are the aspects of information theory that we would need to generalize now in order to move forward? I think I convinced you that delay is one of the things. I still don't understand how to characterize distributed bit, distributed information, or how, how can I characterize how much information is contained in a message that arrives two days after it was sent. Somehow, it would be good uh, to have a good characterization of this. I would prefer it not using utility function. Space is another aspect that I already mentioned to you, and actually uh, in a distributed aspect, a special aspect of information, the one very important in many, many applications. Control is the other. I think this statement characterizes more or less uh, uh, where we are. Information is exchanged in space and time. We all agree on this for decision making. Thus, timeline is an information delivery along with reliability and complexity constitutes the basic objective. So, how within this context to define, to extend uh, uh, shallow information and try to bring, use it 
in, uh, in Wyatt Goofy, they actually dark up to $50 million for a project that unfortunately we didn't get. But actually to try to understand this math aspect, what is the capacity of information channel within this content? Dynamic information, this is something that also we need to know if those of you who are doing biology know that what is very fashionable right now is dynamic network, cellular networks, when actually uh, not only structural aspect of the network, but also a dynamic uh, aspect of the network, stability, robustness, uh, uh, timely delivery of messages are very important, not only for computer networks, but actually for living cells. Uh, that part is pretty much neglected, and uh, we have to move and attack them if we want to move forward with our understanding of information. Okay, this is new thing that since last time I talked in October, uh, uh, we, uh, we try to understand and build a very simple model where we can understand information. The first two will be probably difficult for me to describe, but here is my try, because we need too much background. But basically, the simplest model that Shano has the following. I have one bit to send, zero and one. And when I send it over a channel, every bit with probability epsilon can be switched from zero to one, from one to zero. This is the probability. How much information I can deliver in such a channel? This is called binary symmetric channel. And I want to maximize over what? Over all possible distribution of transmitting zero and one. How much? It's very easy. It's an elementary problem. One minus entropy of epsilon. But now we want to introduce time into this. So let us show now that when I send my bit, actually my bit is delivered to the recipient within, uh, uh, with, uh, the, uh, there is a time attack on every delivery of the message. And for example, if the bit is not delivered before a certain deadline, the information send is zero. We can, we can make it more complicated. How much, capacity, how much capacity is there? Actually, we're probably what we have to do, we have to maximize over all possible distribution of delay. We don't know how to do it. Some we can, some not. Spatial, aspect, my uh, recipient actually is not in one position, but can randomly move to many positions, and the signal that is uh, delivered there actually might be too weak to the information be recovered. How much information is there? Here's something that when we wrote recently our grant information transfer biology, we come up with a model, we call it the Darwin channel. And actually, this is an open problem information theory. Actually, every of this box is a big open problem information theory, even if we studied for 50 years. So what, what basically is a simple description of biology is you have mutation, blind mutation, you change your uh, uh, bits, uh, uh, whether proteins or, or DNA. But that's not it. And mostly what mutation does actually is delete or insert letters. So let's consider deletion. So what it does is delete certain nucleotides or certain uh, uh, amino acids. And then Darwin selection process comes. So it will not, it does not allow every mutation to pass through. Certain mutation will not survive, will be killed. What does it mean? We have two channels. The first channel is very simple. You have input sequence of 0 is 1, and you delete some of them. You don't know which one. And your output is here. How much capacity this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this channel has? How much information I can send? This is an open problem. Nobody knows. Second, during selection, I told you that as input, it doesn't take every input. It takes only a subset of input. This is called constrained input. So actually, it's magnetic recording. It is a well-known problem to constrain the channel, which is also an open problem. So instead of getting all binary sequence of length 0 and 1, which we have 2 to the power of I will make a restriction. I will say that certain sequences are